One question for you. Do you use Logic Pro for mixing, mastering, producing, recording, vocals, editing, whatever? If you do, keep watching this. This is for you. If you don't use Logic Pro, you never want to use Logic Pro. <laughs> If you are looking into using Logic Pro, I got a plugin, actually a suite of plugins that I highly recommend, and I'm going to get right into this week's plugin of the week. Let's go. Well, this is. I love Times Square, man. Oh my God, what are you doing here? <gasps> is that a beefy potato flatbread taco with extra beans and creamy jalapeno sauce? Mm. First of all, if you don't know already, I got a whole package for Logic Pro, the producer pack. It's right there. Link in the description. Go pick that up. It's like 19 bucks. It's worth every fucking penny. Guaranteed. Or your money back. Um, so I'm going to show you a plugin today that I can't believe, like, I've been looking for this forever and I don't know why I did not know about this plugin. And it's by Speaker Food, and they're pretty dope. All right. So there's a, there's three plugins that they make that I really, really love. And I had to do a plugin of the week on this because I've been looking everywhere for this and I can't believe it's not just built into logic pro and it's all about editing. It's all about gain. It's editing. It's plugins. It's fast. It's speed efficiency. If you're trying to get really fast with logic pro, this is the plugin suite for you. So what is speaker food? Speaker food is a company plugin vendor. They have three different plugins. There's a plugin called gain control. There's a plugin called plug search. And then there's a plugin that does fades, right? So with key commands, which is awesome. So if you've been looking for a way to edit quickly in logic pro, I'm going to show you exactly what these things do. Now, the first one I'm going to show you is amazing. It's called Plug Search, and it works with all the Waves plugins, Fab Filter plugins, and UAD plugins, I believe. Um, and what this does, let's just open up a Waves plugin. What this does for Logic is it connects with Logic. It's like a third-party plugin. It's a connecting bridge for Logic so that you can use your presets right here from the Logic menu. Now, I don't know about you, but this right here already is a game changer for me. Because being able to just go here, click here and go, all right, I'm going to go to my Dave Pensato reverb, right? Done. Oh, let's go to the next one. Let's go to the next one. Chatter verb, ghetto plex, whatever, right? Flat filtered, whatever. So if I can go in here and I can just search all my plugins for third-party plugins, not just the Logic plugins. Now, mind you, this is how you have to typically do this. You have to go into a little tiny thing here that says load. And then you go down here and you load up your presets, right? Or you could just go to this big menu here. Now, that's cool for Waves, but even better for UAD because in UAD, you would have to go to this little tiny folder down here in the corner. You have to click on there. You got to click again to load a preset. Then you got to open up the Finder window. I was like, dude, this is ridiculous. How, how do people work like this, right? I'm like, Hugo, and then, oh, for everything. And then you click it, and you're like, oh, I don't really like that one. Go to the next one, right? Um, so now with this, with this plug search plugin by speaker food, incredible, bam, they're all right here. Andrew Sheps, parallel drum crush. Let's go. Right. You can literally just instantly open these up. You can go to the next one, next one, check out all your inserts, check out all your presets. These are all the stock presets that come with UAD, come with waves plugins, come with fab filter plugins, right? So if I open up a fab filter plugin, the same thing, you're getting all of your plugins searched right there in that big menu, which is just incredible. So pro Q3 right here, bam, I got my high cut, my flat, you know, band pass and arrow, everything's there. Instead of having to go down here, I mean, I don't even know where you load presets yeah here you go default settings you go in here and do the presets everything's right here on the big menu plug search incredible plugin now mind you all three of these plugins that i'm going to show you are 35 dollars for all of them i mean like come on everybody's got 35 bucks don't lie to yourself i am making a macaroni with a major twist and what's the twist chicken strips <laughs> Next thing, incredible, incredible, incredible. If you edit vocals and you do it the right way, you're a real producer, you're a vocal producer, you're a mixing engineer, and you're trying to edit vocals. Like, let's look at this comp right here. There's a little vocal pass that I did, right? Let's just flatten and merge it real quick in Logic. 
Okay, now we got a flat vocal. Now you can see these peaks here, and you can see how this is kind of louder than this. And I'm just reading the waveform, and I'm looking at it, and I'm going, God, I really need to turn things up, turn things down, etc. So in Logic, what you'd have to do usually is you'd have to come in here, blade the section, right? You cut all the sections and stuff, and you go, okay, now I got these little sections, and I'm going to start to to gain these up and down. And then you'd have to click on this, and then you have to click here and make sure you have, uh, you know, where you want to gain, etc. And then you'd have to go up to this region box, the region info box, right? And then you go into this gain and you got to drag this knob up and down and it's just fucking ridiculous. Like, I'm sorry, but like, what? Right? And in Pro Tools, you have clip gain. You have like the little thing right there and it's just so easy. But now what we got is this plugin. It's called Gain Control, okay? Now I'm going to open up the settings for this so you can see this about Gain Control. Okay, so this is it. it says how to use use the key commands or an external MIDI controller to change the gain or fades of selected regions. Whoa. OK, so let's open the preferences. You can see all your uh, key commands. You can also see uh, you can add MIDI controller like I have a I have an uh, uh, what is this key lab 88. Right. And I can like assign it to knobs where I can gain up and down the regions. So check this out. My fade in, my fade out, let's say gain small. I want to set that to half a dB, and then I want big uh, gain steps to be 3 dB. I got a, uh, what, control shift up and down arrow, and then I got control shift plus and minus. Now check this out. Or to reset it, you got control shift B, okay? So if I go in here and I click on my uh, region, let's close this out, and I click on my region here, and I hold down control shift, and I go up and down. Now I'm just gaining my... Like that's, that's incredible. I don't know why that's so cool for me, but it's because I just do vocal edits and I do so many of them. Like, look at this, this right here coming in low, bam, 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 bam. Let's gain it up. Okay. Let's gain it up in three DB, right? There you go. Bam, bam. Okay. Now we're just as loud as these guys here, right? Okay. Let's take this down a little bit. Half DB acrobats. You could see the gain right here. It's, it's incredible. Like, I just think this is such a game changer for my editing workflow to be able to just go like that, gain them up and down, take this one down a little bit. Now we're not hitting the compressor as hard. We're not making the compressor work. And that right there is worth it. Like for me, that's $35. I'd pay $35 for that plugin to be able to adjust gains with a key command or a MIDI controller. That's awesome. If you don't have this plugin, go buy it right now. It's worth it. 100%. I'm not sponsored by them. I'm not going to make any money by telling you to do that, but you should absolutely get this plugin. <laughs> now, the other part of this, uh, this gain thing is that you have, you have the fade, fade in and out with a key command. Now, that's awesome right? Like you can actually adjust the fades and adjust the fade in and out curves. So you got fade in, fade out. So you got a control shift, uh, left arrow and right arrow. And then you have control option, left arrow and right arrow, right? So check this out. So if I go on these and I, let's just say I wanted to fade all these, right? Like typically you'd go up here and then you go into fade and you adjust the fade in and out by your mouse. And it's just like, dude, I'm going to get carpal tunnel. I swear to God, like I already have such crazy knots in my arm. So now check this out. So control option, uh, what was it? Left and right arrow, right? Bam. So now I got to fade. See that? And see, I'm fading it in out even more. Okay, cool. I can adjust my fades. Bam. Now check this out. I can adjust the curve by holding control command, I believe. Fade in. And you can do your fades right there. With a key command. That's a big deal for us Logic users. I'm sorry. I know it's silly, but it's a big deal. Okay, now let's uh, let's look at this. Fade in and out. You can do uh, control, um, control option up and down arrow. Okay, so let's just grab all these regions. Control option up and down arrow. Bam, we got crossfades. Now see how the boundaries are already set because I already set those up. You can reset the fades and you can uh, redo it, but that's awesome. And you have a fade length, right? Like, so you could put this like 10 milliseconds, right? And then you can also do um, fade eye out curves. You can actually curve the fade, right? So control, command, up, down arrow, right? Here we go. Control, command, up, down. See that? Now we got some nice little fades. I'm going to zoom in on that region so you can really see that. I mean, that's amazing right there. 
So that's just like, bam, I'm I just got my fades done, right? So let's get in here and let's just turn all these fades off. Let's just reset them, right? Zero, cool. So now I got this region. I've done all my gain, right, with the, with the gain plugin. I highlight this and I go, okay, let's do some fades here. Let's go, um, yeah, that's the gain. Okay, now we got some fade ins. Now let's do some fade outs. Cool. So there you go. Now you got your fade ins and fade outs on every single region. Done. Come in here, fade in and out, right? Just fade it. Easy. You got gain control, doesn't work on the, it's saying that it doesn't work on the actual stacks, right? But that's that's just how logic works. You can't highlight this and go into fade up in, in and out or gain over here anyway until you actually flatten and merge your stacks. Those plugins alone, I can't believe that that's only $35. I'm going to show you the page real quick so you guys can really see uh, speaker food. I really highly recommend these plugins. I can't believe that I found this because I've been looking everywhere for it. Um, but you got gain control, you got plug search, and you got Logic Pro presets. So I showed you the Logic Pro presets. Oh, no, I didn't. Here's the third one. Check this out. This is amazing. <laughs> Okay, so this is probably maybe one of my favorite things because in Pro Tools, you can search your plugins, right? Like you just hit tab and then you can search your plugins instead of going like this, right? Like for example, let's say I want to put a compressor right here. I have to go in here. I have to go into Logic. I have to go into Dynamics. I got to find my compressor, you know, all that stuff. So now you just hover over the insert and you hit control and you're going to pull up a search thing and you can go compressor. This is incredible for me. Like, oh, okay. Um, let's see. Let's do a Shadow Hills mastering compressor. Bam. Enter. It'll literally go through, open up the Shadow Hills compressor for you. I mean, come on, guys. Like, and then you can hover over it again and hit control, and it'll literally take the plugin off. I mean, that right there, okay. I wanna I wanna pro Q3, right? Bam. Doop. Done. Okay, I wanna get that out of here. <laughs> control, get out of here. Uh, I don't want this reverb anymore. Control, see ya. Like, come on! So that's it. I want to keep it short and simple and sweet, but um, that's it. Like, go grab these editing tools. It's amazing. Speaker food, 35 bucks, all three of those plugins. You get the game control, you get the fade in and out, you get the plug search, and you get the presets for uh, the plugins. So you can come in here and you can just get all your presets right here from the Logic Pro menu. Highly recommend it. Go grab it. And also little free uh, five channel strips for you guys right here for Logic Pro and a little mix tutorial and all that good stuff. Just click that link right down there. You can have it for free if you haven't picked it up already. All right, you guys have fun. Plug into the week. I'm out of here.